Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I would like to acknowledge that this land is uh, an Aboriginal land, was and now is and forever be. And I would like to thank the Australia, Australia Venezuela Solidarity uh, Network for organizing this event. And it's uh, really, it's a chance for us to uh, celebrate the legacy of uh, Hugo Chavez and uh, the legacy of uh, a very charismatic leader. He's not just a president. Everybody could be a president, but it takes a certain quality to be a leader. And uh, he's, He's not just also a leader for his country. He's a leader with a vision. It's an, it's an international vision. And this vision, actually, it's very deep, very intricate. And some people may don't know how deep Chavez was thinking about the solidarity of the countries who are fighting against or struggle against colonialism and oppression. Before I talk and delve that, I would like a few years back, I was just uh, reading about some uh, notable figures who they are uh, African Bolivarians. Like I, I read about uh, Pedro, Pedro Camillo. Then I read about uh, Juan Ramirez and Goler Morevas. All of these figures fought for the independence of Venezuela. And then came Javes to remind us that we are not just separate country countries. We are countries with one enemy. We are enemy is the imperialism. And I'm here not just to celebrate Chavez, but to remind me, you and myself that we have to continue the struggle against imperialism. And actually, Hugo Chavez has very, he was a very strong advocate of Pan-Africanism. The Pan-Africanism, the idea that African countries should unite based on the shared history and culture in a political union to oppose the status quo propelled the Western dominance. And Hugo Chavez was a strong advocate of Pan-Africanism. And actually, he mentioned once the book, the, the, one of the most important book about imperialism written by an African writer and, and a leader. Actually, he was the Ghana president, the first Ghana president called Kwame Nkrumah. He wrote a book called New Colonialism, The Last Stage of Imperialism. And I just astonished that Chavez knew this book. Actually, it was published in 1965. And that's not the end of the story. Chavez, in 2009 signed numerous agreements with many African countries. I remember Mali, Niger, Mauritania. That was in the South American African leaders. In Venezuela, 2009, there was a lot of African leaders who signed agreements in mining, energy, education, mutual uh, uh, cultural exchange, and he also uh, proposed a very beautiful idea. He proposed the idea of South, South Bank. This, if this bank um, 
is achieved, the world could have been a different world. Now, and Chavez, he has very good connection with the African leaders and presidents, especially Muammar al-Gaddafi, who has been killed 2011 by NATO after the invasion of Libya. You remember that time. Remember that after the propaganda of the Western nation or Western countries that Muammar Gaddafi is a terrorist and whatever. Actually, Togo Chavez well, has had a very strong relationship with Muammar Gaddafi. And Muammar Gaddafi was not the only one leader, was killed by the imperialists. We have um, Thomas Sankara, 19. 87. Also, we have Lomamba, 1961. We have John Garang, 2000, he's a Sudanese, 2006. All those leaders were assassinated because they were obviously anti imperialist. So, I'm here to remind people that. Hogo Chavez was fighting and struggling to make Venezuela an equitable place and make the people of Venezuela happy, feeling, the, that, feeling the, the, their values. And I, 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 I hear somebody, I think, in the movie talking about not because just they are producing wells, people are not working to produce wells, there is inherent value of work by itself. People are, are creating their own life. They own their life. They own their destiny when Chavez uh, was president. So we are reminding ourselves to continue our struggle. Now in Sudan, there is a very violent uh, fighting in the streets. Uh, streets. I, I just slept for three or four years, and I'm going back to continue monitoring what's going on now in Sudan. Uh, but I also, I, will I want to remind. I would like to remind people that this, what is going on in Sudan, is the consequence of Western intervention in Sudan. And believe me, if we are not united, as Hogu Shafez was always, always proposing the idea of South-South solidarity and cooperation. This is a quote from him, South-South solidarity and cooperation. He meant the cooperation of South America and Africa against pro-Western and Western. So uh, thank you very much, and uh, I'm very sorry, sorry, I'm very tired. I would love to talk about Togo Chavez because we in Africa, and especially in Sudan people, liberation movement, we, we, we know Chavez, actually. One, we love Chavez very much, and we continue loving him, and we love the people in Venezuela, and thank you very much, and we hope in the future to attend more events to talk more about Chavez and my personal love to Shafet. Thank you. Thank you very much.